I'm a fruitarian bodybuilder who just defeated your grandmother in an arm wrestling match. What are you gonna do about it? So I've been high carb vegan now for about six months. I was carnivore prior to that. So obviously I've lost some strength, but I'm always shocked when I like switch to vegan that I can actually do anything like, wow, push-ups don't break my arms. This is awesome. So I just wanted to update you on my strength progress. We're eating roughly 30 to 40 grams of protein per day. I'm about 145 pounds, clearly not even close to what is recommended, but the strength is real and it's just funny. So I do take creatine, small amount. That seems to be the only thing saving my ass right now. Cause I noticed that was like a steroid and I'm like, okay. So first thing I'm doing different, instead of this move, which was fun, it's unique, elevated one arm ring push-ups, your other arm just resting on your back, not even supporting, and yeah, they're terrifying, they're difficult. But one of you jabrones left a comment saying, how come you're not just doing the regular straight push-up that you used to do in Thailand? In my older intro, as you're seeing, yes, I can do those. I don't know why I stopped doing those. Like they're really hard. So I figured since I'm up to like 18 reps of these stupid one arm ring push-ups, I'm like, how many can I do of the straight ones? I was literally shocked. I was expecting that I would get like at least seven reps. Like, come on, I know they're harder, but like, they're not that hard. I got two and I was like, wow, that second one was hard. Okay, just going for my third here and that is not possible. I can do two reps. So the first lesson we just learned was stop over complicating your life. Like I thought I had to do all this unique stuff to still like gain strength with a regular push up. So I'm like elevating my feet. I'm using a ring for instability and I'm working on different ways to not help at all with this arm and then playing with how far your feet are apart. But it just goes to show you that angle is everything. Simplicity rules the day. So like eventually I'm gonna be able to do five or 10 of these and then what I'm going to do is right now my left hand is helping on the thigh. So we're gonna take that off and just rest it on the back when those become too hard and then you wanna move your legs closer and closer together, which in the convict conditioning program that guy had pictures, his feet were like basically touching and like no way you did that, but whatever. In the video series, the guy was bending totally on an angle, so they're difficult. Now, I was going to make this video all about how eating sugar before your workout is so much better, but on the right is me after adding the sugar. And on the left, you can already tell I was stronger before, so I'm not trying to pretend that I'm gaining massive amounts of strength. This is the move that always lets me know how strong I am pound for pound for my body weight because it's a one arm negative and can you do it like these are the things like no matter how many push-ups you can do this is the move that tells me are you gaining or losing strength i'm clearly not gaining more but like it's surprising that i can do this still so i'm not sitting here trying to say if you lower your protein to nothing you're gonna gain so much strength from the air somehow like we're breatharians, we don't even need any protein. Like, no, I, I think I've lost some strength, but like, I'm not losing ability to do my moves and we're still pretty strong. Like almost, I'm basically maintaining on a fruit-based diet of nothing, no protein whatsoever. It's just the creatine is the only thing keeping me alive right now. And we all know that. But what I've noticed from lowering the protein to super low amounts, like I'm literally adding refined sugar to fruit that lowers my total protein like so much, it's ridiculous. And like my grain meal at night is white rice or potatoes, which are both like seven and 4% protein respectively. That's not the word. So it's like very little protein. What I've noticed, I no longer seem to need deodorant. I'm just throwing that. I was always slathering it, but now I was always washing one shirt a day. Now I'm like, I don't think I need it. Like I smell way better. It's just, you eat too much protein, sour things get produced in your body, your kidneys release them. If they can't, 
they come out of your sweat. You smell bad. You're a carnivore. You disgust me. But that's fine. A cat might like your company. Not for long. I've always been worried about losing strength doing this. Like I always figured I had to go low protein to heal all my organs and I will get the best results like that. But then I started working out and I wanted that strength and I feel that protein is a part of that. But as long as you're still strong, what is the real push? It's all egotistical. I don't need it. I love my body. These moves, I'm trying to go super slow with these and go all the way up there. They're hard. I can do like three. Here's me trying to do my fourth. I'm like, we're going, we're going up. No, just doing a half. Let's do a half. So what I do is as many as I can to touch the top of my door and then the rest halfway up. And then we're good to go on that. That's just the ab workout. So if you must know, here's my body now, fruitarian. Protein does not exist in my body. That's mostly just creatine puffing me up like a puffer fish, afraid that someone's gonna steal his home. And then I'm like, what? And I like get all puffed up. Creatine, it's good times. So while I'm definitely not as strong as I was on carnivore, I don't have the issues health-wise that I did back then. So like, I don't have the rash anymore. I'm not exhausted all the time. I'm not nauseous. So like, this is good. I feel more energy, I'm happier, and I still have enough strength. It's a very strange thing where each week I seem to beat my reps in most of the exercises. So I'm like, okay, I'm gaining. And then when it comes to the one arm negative, that's when I'm fraud checked and it's like, the gains don't show up in that move. I don't know if that's just my weakness or what, but it's an incredibly hard move. And I was up to like six negatives and now we're down to three. And my goals are to eventually get the one arm pull up again. We'll see if that ever happens. It's a freak ask for anybody to do, but people do it. And I have done it many times. It's just can we regain that on a vegan diet with no protein? I don't know, seems unlikely, but, and then just keep progressing in that push up move till we can get perfectly straight with the feet and just seemingly denying physics exist and do that move. That's about it. Just keep on progressing. Do it for the fun of it. And that's fine. No protein needed. You kind of need it. If you thumb this video down, it is actually because you were just doing a push up, and to recover the damage you feel that you have to eat a cricket based salad with worm shavings and dirt as the base because you know that we are soil based organisms and if you return to your roots only eat what is crawling in dirt like Adam was made from Huh? then you regain your true identity. I think we can all agree to that after Bitcoin leaves your wallet into mine. Subscribe for my man, that's it.